Hello, everyone. I'm happy to be here. I have to tell you, Cable Inc. is in bad shape, uh, very bad shape. It's a crisis, actually. If you've listened to all of the challenges that Anna has described this morning, uh, you would think the company is about to implode on itself and, and crumble. Um, but not to worry, our, our hero in this story, Anne McClear, she has gone out and she has consulted with some of the industries uh, in the, uh, or some of the experts in the industry, including Luis and Paul and, and Mark and some others, and she's gotten some very good feedback, and with that feedback, she went out and found a tool to help them work in a better, uh, in a better way, a more, more social way. Uh, the tool that she found is called Mango Apps, and we're going to see if Mango Apps can deliver on this new way of, of working. Uh, so please join me as we uh, follow and look over the shoulder of a, a few Cable Link employees as they go through their daily activities uh, using the, this new tool. So let's, let's start with, uh, with Phil McPlan, uh, the head of projects. So Phil comes in in the morning and he logs in. And he lands on his dashboard here, and it has a number of interesting things that uh, he looks at and scans through and things that he may want to click on and look into. There's some news and company announcements that he can see here, and he can see already how many people are looking at these announcements in the company. He can scroll through. He can click on any one of these if he wants to open it up and read a bit more about that announcement. Uh, he can do that. He can pin it. He can like it, or he can just continue on. Uh, he also sees there's some videos here that the company is, is promoting to him at the time to look at. He sees some colleague suggestions of people in the company that he may want to, to follow. Uh, he doesn't know who some of these people are, so he'll just hover over them and it'll pop up and tell him exactly who they are. And if he wants to follow this person, he, he can right here. He'll just click and maybe I'll fill a follow uh, Beulah there. And when he's following them, what that means, if they, if they go in and share an update or they're asking a question out to the community, he's going to get that in his, in his news feed as he starts to follow people. He comes over and he's going to scroll down his, his dashboard a little bit to see what else is on here. There's some other videos that he sees and some other things that are interesting that he may want to click on. But he comes back up. He's really interested in this video of Luis. He wants to know what Luis has to say, so he's going to click on it. And the video is going to play right here uh, in line for him. If I plug in, you might even be able to hear it. Maybe not. That's OK. I will, I will summarize for you. So, and he can actually, if he wants to look at it full screen, he could do that. Or he can just come back and watch it right here on his, on his dashboard. <laughs> Luis looks better in full screen. But for, for, this, for this demo, uh, I'll, I'll minimize it. What Luis is saying here, this was an, an interview that Anne McClear had with Luis, and he was talking about this new, better way of working and how we can use a tool like this to work together in teams and, and communities. And he specifically mentioned the new factory that's being opened in Turkey, and we're already using this tool to be able to communicate around what needs to happen for that opening, to be able to work together on files and documents. So he watches that video, and after he watches the video, he thinks to himself, well, Luis is a smart guy. If he says that we should be using this tool to be working together, uh, I'm interested in that. And he wants to go see that, that Turkey uh, project or team that Luis mentioned. So how do I do that? Well, there's a couple of ways. Of course, he could come over here and, and dig into groups and projects. But Phil's been using the tool already for a few days, and he's already learned how powerful this search box is that's right here at the top. Uh, so whatever he knows, he knows something about, it's about Turkey, so he's just going to start to type the word Turkey in here, and he gets a, a, a drop down here of, tool, of content that he might be looking for, and files and pages, but right at the top he did see there's a team in here called New, New Turkey Factory. So he's going to click on that, and it's going to take him straight into this team that's been set up to communicate around the, the Turkey Factory. And here he is on the, on the team page, he's coming to the project here, he can see what's happening. He can see over here there's 10 members of this team. He doesn't recognize some of these faces, so he's going to hover over. That's a, okay, that's Adam. He's an engineering in Lisbon. Okay, I know who he is. If I want to send him a message, I could, but not right now. And I know she's in here. There's a few others. Okay, so that's who's on the team here. Let me scroll through the discussion wall. I want to see what's been happening in this team. So here, here's a few conversations that are already happening. This one here was posted by James. And James shared a, an image in here, and he shared a couple of files as well. So Phil says, I want to take a look at this file, so let me just click on it. And this file is going to open up right in my browser here, and I can walk through and scan through this entire file if I want. 
and see what's in this PowerPoint. And I do have some options up here at the top to like it and download it or see the com all the commentary that's been happening around this file is there. And he says, good enough, I saw that file. I'm going to continue on and, and snoop through the other discussions that are happening here in this team. He also notices here, Adam has shared a feed here. He shared an Excel sheet, and it looks like the team is working together on that Excel sheet. So David has come in and made some changes, and Beth came in behind him and made some changes. All of the commentary and tally is right here. And again, Phil can just click on this Excel sheet to open it up and look at it. He can expose the commentary over here. And maybe Phil wants to, David has given his thoughts, Beth has, has given her thoughts. Phil wants to ask Louise to jump in as well and review, review this spreadsheet and apply her commentary as well. So he's just gonna, he's gonna mention Louise. As he starts to type her name, uh, pops up here. Louise McGeek is the one that he wanted to mention. And he's gonna say, please take a look. And he's gonna share that out. So now Louise is going to see that in her news feed. She's been mentioned in that, so it's going to be emphasized for her in her news feed. And she'll, she can come in and make her changes as well. Uh, if any one of them want to come back to the older versions of the files, they have the ability to do that. It's storing all of the changes as they come in here, always bringing you to the most current, latest version. OK, so he's looked at that. He's going to cancel out of that. What Phil realizes as he's looking through this, this Turkey Factory team, he says, this is great. All of us are in one place. We don't have to email. We don't have to CC. Uh, we, we all have the latest version of documents that are all available to us. We can work together. He thinks to himself, Phil, as the head of projects, this would be great for the other challenge that we're having with the engineers in our company. The newer engineers are not able to learn from the more senior engineers. They have no way to really communicate. So Phil says, I'm going to use this tool and we're going to create a forum for the engineers to be able to communicate and collaborate. So Phil comes over here to the groups area, and he's authorized to create new teams. So he's going to do that. He's going to come over here and say, create group. And he's going to create a new group. He's going to call it the engineering forum. There it is. Uh, and maybe he's even going to upload a photo here for it. Uh, engineers, let's use that one. And he'll size it how he wants. And he'll say, let's use that photo. He does have the ability here to make it a, a public, a private, or a secret forum. He's going to leave it public because he does want anybody to be able to come into this forum if they, if they, so, uh, if they so choose. Looks like my picture is still uploading. There it is. So he's going to continue. And as an administrator here of this team, he has some settings that he can pick from. But for now, he's just going to go ahead and save and, and create that team. So he's now created a group here called Engineering Forum. This is now a space that the engineers can come in here. They can share updates. They can ask a question in here. So now the newer engineers, they don't have to be so intimidated uh, by going into the office of the senior staff. They can just come into this forum and ask a question. And the senior staff will get that. And they will, of course, as they get the question, they will respond with their expertise. And all the expertise will be captured in here. So Phil, now he's going to come in here. He wants to invite some members into this team. And maybe he can invite them one, one by one if he likes. Or maybe he wants to invite uh, everybody that's part of some of these other teams in here. Maybe everybody that's part of that. Let me see the people. I'm going to say everybody that's part of that turkey team should also probably be invited. So I'm going to invite all these people into the team. And now I've added, I've added members, or Phil's invited engineers in and some others in, into the team here. So they now all have the ability to come in here and post updates to ask questions. And this will be an area that will capture all of that knowledge as the senior staff are answering questions. It'll be captured here and stored here. And all of it is always um, searchable. So Phil feels, feels pretty good about himself. He was able to learn some things about the company when he first logged in. He was able to create a space here for the engineers to, to share their knowledge. He feels good. He's going to go about his day. Meanwhile, while Phil is doing this, over in the Slovakia factory, they're getting ready for their morning safety meeting. Um, so let's change and let's follow uh, Joseph Horvath, one of the factory workers. As they get ready for their safety meeting, he has just a few minutes and he's heard about this new tool. 
And Joseph, as a factory worker, has never been connected to the company. He's never had access to any information or any content. So he's kind of excited about this. So he pulls out his mobile device because uh, he doesn't have a company laptop. He doesn't even have a company email address. But he pulls out his mobile device, and he's going to... We're going to follow along with him as he accesses his mobile device, if I can find where my cursor is going to come back in. There. Let's open this. So I need to minimize here. There it is. Okay. So now Joseph is on his mobile device. He pulls out of his pocket, and he sees the Mango Apps app on the mobile device. And so he's going to click on that uh, to open it up. And it hasn't updated there. I see it here, I don't see it there. Okay, well, I'm going to talk through that part. My, my device is updated, but my, the, the screen share is not showing it for, for some reason. There we go. Hey, you know. Okay, so Joseph has opened his mobile device. He's opened up the Mango Apps app in here. And he has a number of things in here that he can immediately click on to explore. Uh, he's going to go ahead and, and click here on the uh, Cablelink dashboard. And he's going to come in and he's going to see what the company is, is promoting to him today to watch. So he comes in here and there's a number of things he can scroll through. Uh, of course, the video for Luis pops up, pops up front and center. That's the most important thing the company wants him to see today. So he could watch that video right here from his mobile device. Uh, as well. You, you don't need any access to the, to the web. He can scroll through and he can see other things that are being promoted here in the company. They're talking about the fifth anniversary. Uh, a couple of other videos are in here. There's Paul. You can watch that video. And he can scroll through and, and see a number of things here. So he scrolls through. He watches a couple of videos, gets updated on what's happening around the company. And then he comes back here and now maybe he's going to click on the news tab. He wants to see the company news and announcements that are being pushed out. And here he can see those, and he's going to scroll through and get updated on what's happening around the company and the company news. Maybe he'll click on this no more emails announcement. He can read through the entire announcement here and see any of the pictures or videos that are embedded in there. He has the ability right here at the top to go ahead and like that announcement, so he'll give it a, he'll give it a like, and then he'll and then he'll come back. But really also what, what Joseph wants to do, he sees down here that he's able to now share content. He's able to create his own discussions in here. So he's going to open that up, and he's going to ask a question. He's heard about this new turkey factory that they're opening. So he comes in here, and he wants to ask a question. Uh, and he's going to ask it into a team. He's going to ask it into that turkey team. So he chooses the turkey factory here as the team that he wants to place his update into. And he's going to say in the turkey factory, how do we apply for, for job positions? He's a factory worker. There's a new factory. Maybe he wants to go there. And he also has the ability on any time from mobile to add a picture or a video or his, his location. So maybe he decides, I'm going to add a photo since I really want this job in Turkey. I'm going to go ahead and add a photo. I'm going to take a photo with my camera on my device and maybe as part of my application, I'm going to take a little selfie. Hire me. That's the, that's the hire me selfie. 
Do I want to retake it? No, I'll use that one, so I'll say use photo. And it's going to share that photo. It's going to attach that photo now. So out in the field, he can also use this to take pictures of machines that are broken and things like that and, and easily share them very quickly. And so now I'm going to go ahead and ask, click ask to ask my question. And it has now posted my question into that Turkey team. Everyone will see it. Someone can respond and let me know how I apply for, for new, new openings. Okay, so the safety meeting is getting ready to start now, so Joseph needs to pay attention. He's going to put his mobile device away back in his pocket, but he feels good. Within two minutes, he was able to get updated on everything that's happening around the company, see some videos, see some company announcements, and even maybe get a new job in the new factory. So he feels pretty good about that. The last thing that I'll, that I'll show is one more here from our, our hero, uh, Anne, Anne McClear. So we will log in now as, as Anne. And Anne feels, feels pretty good. They've launched this new tool. Everybody's starting to adopt it, including the, the factory workers. But she wants more. She wants to know what else can we do to improve our communications internally. And she wants to leverage the entire brain of all of the employees at Cabling. So what she decides to do is start an idea campaign. So ideas are built into the tool where any employees can, can share ideas. But what you can also do is create a campaign. So there's some ideas in here that employees are, are voting on. But Anne's going to come into campaigns, which is the ability for her to create a campaign to request ideas around a certain subject. So she's going to come in here and um, I don't know if that's spelled right. Uh, she wants to say, how do, how do we improve communications? She can add more detail in here if she wants. She can attach a video or a, a video or a photo in here if she wanted to. So we can even open up here and, and attach a, a photo to support her campaign. And then when she shares this idea campaign, it'll allow any employee to come in and attach. And she can run it for a certain period of time. And then she can, say, or she can actually preview it first before she sends it out to see what her campaign is going to look like. And this will push it out. And then any employee can now submit an idea against this campaign. And then Anne and other management can come in and review all the ideas. They can see the votes that each idea has received. And they can decide to implement uh, the ideas that they, that they choose. So she likes what it looks like. So she's going to go ahead and save, save that campaign and, and se send it out. OK, so, that's, so we followed three employees here. We followed Phil, we followed Joseph, and we followed Anne. And we saw how just in a few minutes of time, each one of them was able to communicate better, collaborate, get updated on what's happening around the, the company. Um, so with that, I will, I will pause here. And thank you for your time taking on this, this tour exploring Mango Apps. Thank you.